Christmas to it, uh, and it's a good story too. It's been worth the wait for Scott Fardy. He had a terrific run on debut against the All Blacks in Wellington, but his journey into a Wallaby jersey has been long, and you wouldn't describe it as smooth either. Here's Sean Maloney. Well, Fards, it was great to see you make your starting debut against the All Blacks, but so much went into that 80 minutes. Can you take us back to 2008? Yeah, so picked up the, uh, the catch pole medal, but uh, went pretty far in the finals. I thought we had a good year. So personally, on that note, I was disappointed I couldn't get a run somewhere, but uh, was, was happy to take an opportunity when it came in Japan. What's going through your mind there? You're crowned best club rugby player in Sydney and you're forced to head offshore. I think you're pretty dirty in the world, you know, you're pretty filthy. I remember having conversations in the middle of the GFC as well, so Japan clubs were closing up, so everyone was battling. So uh, I remember having a conversation with my mum and just saying, oh, you know, what have I done here, what have I done? So I was, at that point, you know, you're in a low moment, but it makes the moments like the other week, you're playing in Wellington, facing the Harker and playing the All Blacks and wearing gold even better. Well, fast forward, March 11, 2011, and the Japanese tsunami hits Kamaishi. Your town is one of the first hit. Where in the city were you that day? Yeah, so I kind of stayed in my apartment for a bit, holding on to my telly. I was a bit worried it was going to fall over, but uh, I soon realised that I couldn't do that for too much longer. So I kind of ran out and flicked a text to my old man and said I'm OK, and then the power was gone for uh, a good week or so. But, um, you know, then they just gone outside, went to, off to the clubhouse for, for about a week, just eating, you know, there, eating whatever food we had left. But, you know, it was obviously a, a very difficult time for the country, and, but I didn't really suffer in any way, shape or form. Tell me about the recovery process in those weeks following the tsunami. We just kind of helped out when supplies came in, unloading trucks and, and do what we could in that way, you know. But then after that, hopefully the team you know, by playing the season out and the foreigners staying around helped out the town and helped out the area and you know, I saw it as a bit of a symbol of the recovery of Japan and you can see today it's, it's, it's improving every day. A year later you find yourself calling Canberra home. Uh, how did the move back to the Brumbies come about? Oh, I think it's got approached mid-year. I think Laura Fisher was looking for an older bloke and uh, I got the opportunity and was grateful to come back on the EPS and, and just train hard and have another crack and, and see how it would go. And, was uh, grateful with the coaching staff and the boys around me with, with um, the opportunity I was given. And do you think that sort of opens up some scope for older guys to start making their test debuts at a, at a later level? Yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd like to see more of it. I think it's a, you know, older guys have, have got that experience. I'd like to see more guys grind it out in club rugby for a lot longer. And you know, it's a very rewarding experience once you get here. But I think uh, you've got to do the work to get here as well. But a guy like myself, I probably wasn't ready at that age to play. You know, top level rugby week in, week out. I didn't have the body for it at that point. And you have to do a lot of work to, to get to this point. Well, Fards, there are hundreds of guys around the country in Clubland who are in the exact same position that you were, dreaming to replicate you one day. What message would you have for them? <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's a tough one. I just keep showing up and you'll get noticed eventually. I think if you keep showing up and keep playing well, someone, someone will see someone will see good in you and if you find the right coach who's, who's willing to give you the shot and, and back you, you'll get an opportunity.